Aloha, my name is Leah Young Hunt. I'm the CEO of Goldwing Supply Service. My name is Keone Wasano. I am the Director of Engineering at Goldwing Supply Service. We are currently on Taxiway 5 at Honolulu International Airport in Honolulu, Hawaii. My dad started Goldwing Supply in 1987, and he is a veteran of the U.S. Air Force. He was a mechanic for United Airlines up in San Francisco, and he decided to open up a parts store with his experience. And from an aircraft parts business, we turned into airfield lighting, critical power, pavement preservation, and asset monitoring and management and traffic. We have a number of different product lines that we sell, including traffic supply parts with Applied Information and Carmana. And we also have solar outdoor lighting with First Light Technologies and roadway sealant. I am a certified aircraft mechanic. I went and got that after graduating from Santa Clara, then ended up getting an invitation to play on the Pro Tour. Truly enjoyed playing professional for seven years on the AVP tour and that was really exciting and fun for me too. Also thereafter got my pilot license as well. My background has been in transportation. I started off at the Department of Transportation when I just got out of college and I was hired by a company called Econolite and it got me really involved in transportation and how we just move cars from A to B. So with that, I started learning so many different things and implementing these systems across the nation. And I really wanted to bring that experience back to Hawaii. And I really looked forward to working with a company as small as Gold Wings and being able to do that across all of the islands here. Well, we do quite a lot of business with the DOD and government agencies. Something that is very unique is that we do have a corporate philosophy that is truly dedicated to education, to best practices, to the collection of data, and that we are unafraid to commit to that in order to seek and ground truths. We are also a women-owned small business in addition to being Native Hawaiian, and we're also hub zone, which demonstrates our dedication to our communities and that we are willing to hire and grow our company with a workforce that is local. For a women-owned small business being in aviation, our industry is chock full of opportunities. When I step into a room, I come in with a different perspective of networking. And in general, I think women do walk in with an open hand and open heart, more so than what the industry's used to. In Hawaii, one of the most important components is a sense of place and community. The culture is very different here. From anywhere that you go, we are always looking out for each other. We want people to come in. We want them to enjoy our beaches and our scenery. Come and be a part of who we are here and experience our culture. Being pono means to do things ethically, you do things in the right way. Kupono ho'okela means to excel, to achieve, but with just intentions. We approach each opportunity with that sense of aloha and being pono so that we can elevate our communities together. Transportation in Hawaii has always been an issue. We have such limited space. As an island, we must continue to invest in our existing infrastructure. We need to support all of our transportation needs, whether that's vehicles, bicycles, pedestrians, freight vehicles that move all of our goods. So investing in uh, CV2X is critical to provide answer towards our congested traffic, which really affect our most vulnerable communities. One of the first projects that I was involved in at Gold Wings was the Nimitz Corridor Project and it was a great collaboration between the Department of Transportation and the University of Hawaii. And the intent was to be a research project about how connected vehicles and adaptive systems could improve one of the busiest corridors that we have here in Hawaii. Our ports are right along Nimitz, so that's how we get all of our goods into the islands. And it's also the way that all of our local people get to work. 
the cost of living here is so expensive that to be in town, you really are living in a different type of economic level. And because of the opportunity, we've got our most vulnerable communities having to commute. When you're looking at quality of life, when you're looking at how do we elevate communities and create societal change, overall, CB2X does provide that gap and it does provide the community an opportunity to adapt. But now to be able to see it all installed and to have these devices that are pulling in information and getting it ready for the next generation of cars is awesome. Now we actually are providing a way for pedestrians and bicyclists and tourists to get involved in the same system for our DOT, for the university to continue to do their research. We can do all of these things on a single corridor that's five miles long with 34 intersections. And I think it gives the counties the credit that they deserve for being change agents and being willing to try out new innovation. I think it was a successful win for everyone that was involved. The greatest change in society, it's through collaboration and it's understanding that our educational institutions carry the value of our community. And it's through partnerships with our government that we have to bring that forward together. To me, that's been the funnest part.